Gall dang, check out the size of this big old Western red cedar stump um, that would have been a huge tree before it got cut down. And there's a second one right over here. So that's two stumps just right here. And these fingers I'm holding up represent numbers, which is the thing that humans invented so that we could count stuff and keep track of things. And, and it's actually a pretty convenient thing to have. And right now there's a ton of numbers just flying all around the internet, especially pertaining to old growth logging. So I thought I'd make a video here just explaining it all and breaking down the numbers so in an easy, easy to understand way. So here we go. So right now across the province, the British Columbia government lists old growth forest is 23% of all the forests, which is like, sounds pretty good. You're like, well, shoot, dang, that's like one in every four trees is a, is a big old growth tree, right? That sounds pretty good. And logging companies love to throw this number around because it makes it sound like there's a lot more old growth forest left than there actually is. So this old growth definition contains two main categories. There's high productivity old growth forest and low productivity old growth forest. Now, low productivity old growth forest tends to live in bogs and high alpine mountaintops where there's these really old ecosystems containing really old trees, but they're often really small and scraggly because the growing season is so short or they don't get enough nutrients to become the big massive trees that we so often associate with what it's like to live in British Columbia. Those trees exist in the high productivity old growth forests, which tend to exist in river valley bottoms, um, lowlands where these trees have a ton of nutrients and are able to grow absolutely massive like this giant western red cedar that I'm so blessed to be standing next to right now. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. It's trees like this that logging companies are still fighting to actively log and where the fight to save big old growth forests exists within the province because high productivity old growth forests like this is down to 2.7% of the historic numbers. So let's start from the top here. All the forests in British Columbia, 23% of that is listed as old growth forest. Then you have low productivity old growth forest and high productivity old growth forest, of which 2.7% of its historical value is remaining, which represents less than 1% of all the forests across British Columbia. Crazy numbers, right? Let's think about this a little bit more. All right, so let's imagine a completely different situation, totally hypothetical, completely different where we have about, you know, 2.7% of something remaining, something good, and 97.3% is, say, like the issue, you know? So let's say that um, of all the newborn babies being born today, 97.3% of them were being drop kick punted in the face by their doctors. Oh, that's horrible, right? We'd be like, what the cuss? We need to stop these doctors from drop kicking these babies in the face. This is totally messed up. But what we're doing as a society instead is being like, yo, doctors, it's kind of a bummer that you're drop kicking these babies into the faces and I wish you wouldn't, but like you're doing a good thing, so keep it up. That's basically what we're saying with old growth forest ecosystems now, because once these old growth forest ecosystems are cut and logged, they're gone forever. Second and third growth forest ecosystems have never been able to come back with the same amount of biodiversity, the same resilience to, um, you know, drought and forest fire that these old growth ecosystems have. So, you know, I'm not anti-logging. I'm anti being an idiot. I'm anti kicking babies in the face. It's 2021. We need to do things differently. And that includes stopping all old growth logging across the province, um, stopping raw log exports to foreign uh, countries, and instead working with indigenous nations and local communities to create a truly sustainable second and third growth forest economy within the province that actually gives back to people in the province instead of exporting it overseas for profit. John Horgan, you got to call this guy up, call for Katrina Conroy and tell them to get their act together and start getting with the program because old growth forest ecosystems are worth keeping around.